Welcome to part 6 of our series, Searching the Literature in Health. This tutorial we demonstrate how to combine a search that includes both Medline headings and keyword terms. From search history we will combine our concept searches and produce a systematic search strategy. In the last video we demonstrated how to use the subject heading features and begin our concept table. Let's revisit the table. We've got the terms we've selected for headache and for manual therapy, the MeSH terms, and we also included some keywords that we'd like to use as well. Keywords for the migraine group, um, I've decided that I'm searching for just the word migraine or headache in the title could be useful and it could pick up some articles which had not been indexed yet. So we're going to go to MeSH to Medline now. We can get there from the LibGuide, from the Journal Article and Databases page, or we can go there from the Library home page from the Databases A to Z list. Click on Medline, log in as needed. First we're going to search for headache terms and suggest subject term and search. And from the MeSH screen we're going to select Headache Disorders. We're also go and we're going to explode that and migraine disorders and explode to select narrower terms they're added to our search box over here we just click on search and clear so now I'm going to do my keyword search actually I'm going to do headache or migraine and I'm going to search that in the titles of the articles so just choose TI title from the drop down menu and click on search. I'm just going to clear that search and go to the next step which is our search history. In search history we now have these two groups. We've got our mesh group and our keyword group and I'm going to select those and search them with OR so that I have just one set for that concept. I'm going to clear and I'm going to start on manual therapy. Same, we search for our MeSH terms. Choose musculoskeletal manipulations as before and I'll select that and any others that we think are relevant that we want to include might just use soft tissue therapy and massage. Over on the right we click search. Clear again and we're going to find those keywords we had before. I'll go back to my PowerPoint and I'm just going to copy them. Save typing. Back in Medline, paste them in and search. Clear the field here and now we have um, search 4 and 5 and we're going to combine those with all. So we have one set of those. And clear again. We're going to take the two groups, group S3 and the group in S6 and we're going to search them with AND. And this will give us our result set which is 500 or so articles. So I could just add to this search the word trial. You might only want to see trials or reviews of trials. So we'll click on trials and that narrows it down further to 121. Now you can refine that search. I usually leave the refining till the end. So I can just change that to last 10 years. I could also go for English language small reduction if you want to view more limits the full set click on show more and that gives you the complete list of limits provided by Medline so I'm just going to close so now for the moment my search is complete you might have more concepts, so you might have to repeat the process for the extra concepts if you want to include um, 
so the comparison um, for your therapy. If you want to save that search strategy, you can simply copy it and paste it into a Word document. If you need to report it in a PRISMA report, you can just reverse the order, so start with headache disorders and um, write that up. The other way to save a search strategy is to click on Save Searches and Alerts. But to do that, you need to be signed in. And this is a sign-in for EBSCO databases. It's a personal sign-in and you create one if you haven't got one. Once you've created this and saved the search, it will appear under your folder. This is the end of our presentation. If you need any assistance, please don't hesitate to get in contact with a librarian.